Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos and I'm here today with a case card class and this is this gorgeous card using um, touches of texture and the, the Petal Parade embossing folder. Um, it is a case card but it was from Google so I don't know who submitted it but I just thought that it was a very lovely get well card, you can make it into a birthday card. Um, you know, so let me tell you how we made this card. It just looks cute, and another little bee card as well. We're doing sort of a thing on bees at the moment, and flowers and petals, and just such a pretty, pretty quick card to make. So this is what you will need: um, touches of texture, um, a stamp set, which you know this is just an amazing stamp set, and we're going to be using this flower and the bee from that. And I'm also using the Get Well Soon from Hopeful Thoughts. Um, so that will be the sentiment. Now, cardstock, we do have quite a bit because there's quite a lot of layers here. So let me just make sure I get this right. Now, the, um, oh, we're missing a piece. The very vanilla is 11 by 4.1 and then scored at 5.5. And, and then we have our Melon Mambo, which is 4 by five and three eighths. We have black, which is three and seven eighths times five and a quarter. And then very vanilla, which is three and three quarters and times five and one eighths. Then we have pink, which is a melon mambo, which is four and a half times and two and seven eighths. Then black, which is four and three eighths by two and three quarters. And then whisper white, which is four and a quarter times two and five eighths and a little scrap piece of whisper white so and we'll also need the petal parade embossing folder so let's move this to one side and we'll do our our stamping it's very simple we're taking basic black and what i'm going to do is take the flower first And I'm going to do, excuse me, is just place that up here, leaving room for the sentiment. Oops, like that. And look at that, that's just such a clear, crisp um, image there, love it. So that's the flower. Then take in the sentiment, I'm just going to ink this up and we're going to make sure I get it the right way around and we're going to pop this just down on the bottom here there you go now you will notice that on my other card I did actually have a little banner on it well that's because when I stamped that I did smudge it very slightly so rather than waste the card um, I actually put a little banner over it so you could put a little banner over it or just stamp it on the bottom there which is what I did and then you're going to need um, a bee on your scrap piece and then put your bee on here also because then you only have to cut out then the body and the wings and his little legs you know because obviously they're very very sort of quite tiny to to get your snips around so yeah this way um, and I've already cut one out you'll see um, I've just cut out the body and the wings and then when you put him on there um, it doesn't matter so when you use dimension just put that on so taking your so oh, I forgot first of all before you um, take your snips you want to just get uh, many marvelous markers in daffodil delight and we're just going to give that a little bit of colour and I do have Wink of Stella and I'm just going to put a little bit on a little bit on his wings and this is the the gold Wink of Stella and then just take your snips and cut him out and I didn't put the Wink of Stella on his little wings did I let's put some on now we can't have, no, can't have that can we we need a little bit of sparkle okay so i'm just going to pop that on there and let that 
dry. Okay, now, oops, taking, um, I'm using Flirty Flamingo and Emerald Envy. We're just going to squidge a little bit into the, the top there and taking your Aqua um, marker pen, um, you just want to pick up some colour. <clears throat> We're just going to go in here and colour the leaves. Or you can just, you know, use your um, Many Marvellous Markers to do this, or watercolour. Actually, that's the point. I haven't had my watercolour pencils out enough. I haven't had them out, actually, for a while. I might do a project with those because I just love using the watercolour um, pencils. They're just amazing. Right, I think that's it. I think that's all of the green. And then what we're going to do is doing the same with the Flirty Flamingo. Clear my um, Aqua marker off. And again, just picking up some colour here. In fact, my grandchildren, um, especially my granddaughter, loves um, the watercolour pencils. And, you know, she's really had a lot of fun, and she's seven. So, you know, this is um, for all ages. They they just love, you know, she's, she's sort of colouring in the lines and um, now learning to use um, watercolour pencils. She loves it. Actually, she has also done... Um, you know, this with the aqua marker as well. She had a lot of fun doing that, and I think I've got a little smudge on there somehow. Right, well, never mind. It just looks like it's part of the um, colours of the flowers. Right, okay, so that's all we need to do with that. And then we need to take all of our... Oh, right, first of all, we do have to take our large piece of vanilla and we need to run that through the embossing folder with the petal parade so i'll just go and do that and be straight back right that was quick wasn't it <laughs> it is super fast and um, what i'm going to do this time this time this one here i have the inverted emboss side and this time i'm going to put it up this side so we have two different same cards but a little bit different so let me just get my bone folder here and oops, give that a good crease so, and then we need to make sure we get our layers right it's the melamambo first Just a little bit more. I have moved the angle of my camera and it seems to be getting in my way, so I might have to rethink that because I'm finding it very difficult to see when I'm trying to line up. You might have noticed in my last few videos <laughs> I struggle. I'm getting it straight and look that's very slightly off but never mind um because my oh come on my tablet I actually film from my tablet and it's you know quite a big one so it's sort of coming out to here to here so um I'm finding it hard to see actually because I had it in a different position before um <clears throat> but then when I had it in the other position I kept banging it all the time so I do not know what is the best solution. So this time I'm going to be gluing down the um, inverted side. I'm going to have the raised side facing upwards this time and mix it up just a little bit. 
and that's that. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me, there's quite a few little layers on this one, but um, quite a lovely card, a different one. And I do like the touches of texture. Um, quite an awful, you know, quite a lot of stamps on there, different um, variations. Oh my gosh, I've seen some amazing um, card designs. So I'm probably going to be playing with this stamp set quite a bit this week. Um, so if you have this stamp set, then um, you'll be in for a treat. If you don't have it, then it might be, you know, something you consider getting because it is, you know, has an awful lot of uses for backgrounds, but you can also, you know, make complete cards with it. But it's, oh, look at that. That's not right, is it? Look at that. Oh, my days. What happened there? Okay, I'm just going to go off camera and cut that down a little bit because somehow I've managed to do the wrong um, size. Right, two seconds. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> now, I did cut that down at the wrong size, but I know what I did wrong, and I'll tell you in a second. Um, when I made, cause the, because the case card was on Google, there wasn't any measurements, so I've had to try and figure it out myself from looking at the card. And on the case card that's on um, Pinterest, there was quite um, a, a nice big gap on the, you know, so you could see more of the petal parade. This one, I hadn't cut it down enough, so I changed the original size <coughs> to this size. But the sizes I gave you were right. Um, it's just that I hadn't cut that down to the right size but as you can see that's one eighth of an inch bigger than that one but I hadn't corrected the piece of white that I had but there we've, we've sorted it out um, didn't take me long and where is my little bee gone oh no I've lost my bee there he is <coughs> and we just take a little um, bit of dimensional here and we're just gonna, oh, that's gonna be too wide. Cut down. You only need really the tiniest little bit, or a glue dot would do. Right, there you go. And there's the B, and we're just gonna pop that down uh, with a dimensional. Just need to move him over just a little bit. And there you have it now. You could put a blink of Stella on the flowers to make them sparkle a bit. Um, but I thought a very pretty, um, you know, cheer up anyone that's probably, you know, feeling a little bit down. But still would make a lovely happy birthday and lots of different occasions. So I hope that you have enjoyed this case card class and that, you know, um, you'll please like and subscribe and thank you for watching and um, you know by subscribing it means that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and giveaways um, and also lots of different things that are going on so I will be back later for another case card class I haven't decided on which um, stamp set yet because I've got quite a few lined up and I really don't know until the day but um, thank you again, waffled on them again. Thank you again for watching and see you later. Take care, bye-bye.